Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today our destination is Maira Road Waterfall. Not to be confused with Maira Falls near the Chester area in the south shore of Nova Scotia. Now this one is a small but very beautiful waterfall that not many people really know about it. I don't even think it is listed as a waterfall in Google Maps. Just check it out and let me know. But before we hike into this trail towards the waterfall, don't forget to like the video. And if you like the content of the channel, consider subscribing, please. We put a new video every week exploring the beauty of Nova Scotia. All right, I think we're here now. Yep. There are people here and I don't want people here. Yeah, there are people in the trail. Which is fine, I guess. It's probably an ATV in the trail. I'm just gonna go around and park in the shade. And So uh, it's going to take me about 40 minutes in these conditions to get to the waterfall. It's a long hike. So let's see what we can uh, accomplish when we get there. It's just a hike. It's a, it's, a, it's a very irregular terrain. And <coughs> it's a long walk in these conditions. As I said, there is no phone reception in this area at all. And other than my beautiful little girl, which is 10, no one else knows that I'm here. And consider that a mistake, because you should never be in a place where you can get hurt and nobody knows where you are. So uh, well, at this point, we are almost there. It's, uh, it's very difficult to regret, because this place, oh my God. Take a look at this area. It's absolutely stunning. Let's look at this. It's, uh, it's another few more minutes, I think, maybe 10 more minutes. Um, I noticed that a lot of people that come into this trail couldn't find a fault. You're gonna have to walk, and it doesn't seem to be a fault anywhere because the river is to your right, and the fault is coming from down the mountain here to your left. So you have to keep walking until you hear the sound of the water and then you know you are in the right place. So uh, I know it's a long walk and the terrain is quite challenging. Let's take a quick look. I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit so you can see it. It's, it's, a, bit of a, it's a bit of a mess. I had the perfect boot for this. All right, I'm gonna get a little break from blogging and I will see you guys when when we get to the to the falls. Here we go. All right, I think we made it. Here's the fall. Got a whole lot of water running here today. But I think we got enough. Got a couple of nice composition here.
just let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, the top is too tempting to walk away and just call it a day. So I'm going to attempt to approach that area a little bit. And if it is safe enough, I'm going to try to get a couple of shots of the wall. But the water is coming down, the, the, rock, the rock wall. It looks beautiful. It really looks beautiful. And I believe it will, it will, uh, will generate a beautiful image. Uh, I'll try it. If it is too challenging, I just walk out of here. But if it is uh, accessible, I like to I like to give it a try. So here we go. Anyway, I'm very happy with the, with the images I got. It's not too many. Uh, the lighting was really nice, beautiful. It's very harsh outside, but here in the wood, it's perfect, it's beautiful. It's soft enough to bring the colors and at the same time, all the details in the shadow. And it's, uh, it's really nice. Again, it's a place to come back again and again and again. You need time, I need time be able to make it here but uh, other than that it's beautiful it's a really beautiful place I don't know if I'm gonna return again in the summer I may wait until the fall to get this area with a little bit of color but uh, right now it's stunning it's beautiful extremely peaceful uh, anyway so this is gonna put an end to this video don't forget to like and if you like the content consider subscribing to the to the channel thank you for watching and we will see you again next week